Georgian architectural and interior style is named after the four English kings, who ruled Great Britain from 1714 through 1830. This style became popular in England and colonial America throughout the majority of the 18th century, well into the early 19th century. It was a period of increasing wealth for the American colonists as their homes became bigger and more comfortable. And they looked to England for style inspiration. If you like the elegance of Georgian style, then these are the details you will need to focus on. Number 1. Brick Facades. Red or brown brick is a common material used for the exterior facades of Georgian buildings. They often feature decorative details like coins, cornices, and water tables. Number 2. Decorative Balustrades. In some instances, Georgian buildings may feature white decorative balustrades, often adorning balconies, staircases, or terraces. Number 3. Rectangular shapes. Georgian structures often have a rectangular or square shape, with a formal and orderly appearance. Such as the stately rectangular brick homes, with compartmentalized square or rectangular rooms. You won't find too many curvy or unusually shaped rooms. Just your simple and basic 90 degree angles throughout. Number 4. The hipped roof. Many Georgian buildings have hipped roofs with a symmetrical slope on all sides, often topped with a cupola or decorative balustrade. The Governor's Palace in Williamsburg, Virginia is a perfect example. Number 5. Neoclassical elements. They borrow much from the Greeks and Romans. There will be columns, pilasters, and pediments on a building's exterior and interior. You may also find white classical statues and plaster busts throughout. Number 6. Moldings galore. They will be clean, blocky, heavy, geometric, with a more restrained ornamentation, and a focus on proportion and harmony. These are some examples of Georgian crown molding. Note the cornices and dentils. Number 7. Wall paneling. Usually painted, these elaborate wood panels can also be used around windows, porticos, and overmantel treatments. Many times, walls have panels from floor to ceiling. At other times, there will be wainscoting, or a chair rail, with plain solid painted walls, or wallpaper above. Colors are usually earth tones or pastel. A more colorful palette required more expensive pigments. Therefore rich greens and blues, or wallpaper, simply meant you had a lot of money. Number 8. Multipane windows. These are simple double-hung windows with multiple panes, arranged in a grid pattern. Usually 6 over 6, or 9 over 9. There's also the Palladium, with a broad-arched central section, and lower flat-headed side portions. George Washington has an awesome Palladium window at his Mount Vernon estate. Number 9. Balance and Symmetry. Georgian buildings are characterized by a strong emphasis on symmetry, with evenly balanced windows, doors, dormers, and other architectural elements. A perfect example is the Home Alone house. You'll find a central hall, a central door, lots of even numbers, and fireplaces central to a house. Or two fireplaces, one on both sides of the home. Interior design is also quite symmetrical. Basically, what's on the left, you will also find on the right. Number 10. The elaborate entryway. The centrally located grand entrance will be frequently adorned with a decorative doorway featuring a transom, fan lights, pilasters, a crown, hood, or pediment above. Last is number 11. Elements of Chinoiserie. You'll find this East Asian-inspired aesthetic in the oriental rugs, fabrics, wallpaper, decorative objects, as well as the furnishings. Lots of exotic birds, botanicals, pagodas, landscapes, and intricate patterns are featured. Be sure to like and subscribe for more style guides. Thank you for watching, and happy decorating!